if you want to find the cheapest NAS that supports our Synology moment, then watch this video. So we got a question here uh, about um, someone who has 3617XS, which is like uh, the best NAS Synology has from the desktop range. And he's using that for uh, photo editing. But what he's looking for is to have um, a separate NAS solution, which is going to be for um, uh, his clients and, and his team to access and work with. So probably this is a um, security sort of uh, measures that he wants to keep this separate. He, he could have uh, um, create, as you are already using the S3617 for um, uh, moments already, you could create a separate users or separate even volume or separate uh, uh, a shared folder for for these people to connect therefore you would keep um, entirely all the sub data separate so when you finish those projects move them to the separate shared folder but if if you want to have proper security an entirely different disk different location different NAS whatever then um, then yeah then you can consider something 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 like from plus series range so if you look at the app center on, on uh, package center on Synology um, you will see that um, moments are supported for pretty much uh, on any NAS model, but I would still recommend you to choose uh, any Celeron based NAS, like uh, any Plus series, really. So I would say 420, 920 Plus. It's going to be still giving you smooth experience, it's going to be fast and, 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 and snappy, but um, you wouldn't see any slowdown if you would go something cheaper, like a uh, Value series or, or even J series, which is really budgety. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would consider. Also, if you go for a plus series, you can uh, like nine twenty, you can expand up to nine bays. Or if you go for bigger uh, models like fifteen twenty, you you get um, you get uh, more bays. So you can start with uh, just three drives. If you if you're not sure, you can fill the fill them all up. Uh, then you start with three drives. So you get RAID five, so it's one drive protection. You just add more drives as as you need them as your data grow. Um, you can, uh, if you haven't decided if it's going to be two bay or four bay, so two bay mirrored, uh, mirrored solution or four bay, uh, then you can read articles um, about NIST 920 versus 420 or 720, 220. So 720 is expendable, 220 is non expendable. You can upgrade your RAM, so it's still a future proof sort of solution. So you don't need to worry about um, upgrading your NAS, you just add more RAM uh, as, as those apps with the time become. Um, heavier so they need more resources more room so you just need to upgrade RAM in the future and and, and your performance will go up so uh, if you go for four bay the same applies 420 is uh, non-expandable but that uh, is still upgradable you can add more RAM 920 can be upgraded nine nine bays and as I said 1520 would be other option you get uh, with 1520 there's a good thing that you get four LAN ports which means if you have bigger team uh, like four people more then if you activate load balancing, that means four of these people will be able to connect with full one gigabit uh, bandwidth, which is really helpful if you need quick um, data transfers uh, towards or forwards or backwards. You don't need to you don't need to wait on other person to finish their download to get full speed of your uh, one gigabit connection. So that's a good thing of um, if you go for multi LAN uh, NAS option. But still, yeah, do stick with the plus series. And um, you're saying that you want to use moments. By the way, with DSM-7 now, just around the corner, beta is released now, so you can already try it out. It, it seems to be pretty stable. And it comes with this new app, uh, DS uh, uh, Synology Photos, which they finally have combined um, uh, DS Moments, Synology Moments, with uh, DS Photo, where there was always this problem with um, uh, libraries not being um, accessible on both platforms at the same time. DS Moments always were requiring uh, you to copy the old photo library from uh, from DS um, uh, photos to, to Moments. And so therefore you ended up with wasted space because you had to, uh, had to have everything double. With, uh, with new photos, finally they figured this out that you can have access to other uh, um, apps and Moreover, you've got access like um, folder view, which also people were asking for, but they never introduced. So you've got folder view, you've got timeline, you've got artificial intelligence with face recognition, object recognition, uh, location, time times, and, and all these things. You can, you can read about this uh, on the article about uh, Synology Moments on, um, on NAS Compares if you go. 
4G7 beta, I have the impression that you can use search bar and, and find it up. Um, so you, you get really nice mobile app, you can, you go to desktop app, you can enable uh, this um, artificial intelligence or not. Um, and, uh, and, and that's, that's pretty much it. There's, you can read more about DSM-7, there's lots of other things uh, uh, available now to, to try out. So you can read, we can read these articles. And um, I hope this is answering your question. Uh, if you've got any other questions, you can use, always use the help section, fill the form uh, uh, and send it to us or send our email directly to info and ask .com, or just simply leave a comment at the bottom of this video. And I hope this helps. Cheerio.